we're going to talk about our four different kinds of biomolecules. And I'm going to see if this works out for me to have um, one page where we keep track of all the little bits and pieces of information about each one of them. I, I'd love to have one, um, I don't know, one chart that includes all the information. We'll see if I can make it fit. Four categories of biomolecules, carbohydrates. And I mean, right there, I already am, <laughs> I don't know, I may have to do some adjustments to make sure I can fit everything on here. Um, let's look at, for all of them, we'll do this, but I wanna look at the subunit. All biomolecules, are made up of building blocks. Like they all have um, a, a thing that if you string a whole bunch of that thing together, you get the biomolecule and you can get great complexity because you can mix and match how you put those things together. Okay, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but carbohydrates, all of them, this is wild. All carbohydrates have a C, H, wait, a C-H-O, H-2-O, a C-H-2-O. I knew I could get there. Subunit, which means they all have the same, um, they, they're they going to have different numbers of carbons, but you can add, you can have 20 carbons and you'll have 40 hydrogens and 20 oxygens. So they all have that same pattern. They also can be found in, um, you can have monosaccharides. Oh, I can never remember how to spell saccharides. Monosaccharides, which are single, um, single subunit, single unit carbohydrates. I'm just gonna give you an example. Glucose is a monosaccharide. You can put them together to make other stuff like disaccharides. We're just gonna make it okay that I said disaccharide. <laughs> Disaccharides means we take two of those monosaccharides and stick them together. For example, if you take a glucose monosaccharide and a fructose monosaccharide and stick them together, you get sucrose, which is a disaccharide. And then we have, um, I want to say, I just have to look up, oh, polysaccharides, of course. Polymini. Polysac. <laughs> you knew exactly what I meant. The polysaccharides are crazy, comp like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of monosaccharides put together. And I'm going to show you a picture of some, um, oh man, come back here to me. This is going to take me one second. There we go. Yes, that's what I would like you to see. Oh, goody, that wasn't that bad. Um, these complex carbohydrates are polysaccharides. And each one, I don't know if you can see my mouse, each one of these little circles on all of these is a monosaccharide. So you can see how we've put together all these monosaccharides in these strings to make different complex carbohydrates. We have starch. Starch is a complex carbohydrate that you find in potatoes, um, other delicious items. Glycogen is a complex carbohydrate that you find in your liver. It's the way that your body stores glucose for energy. Cellulose is a complex carbohydrate. It's We can't digest cellulose, so it makes up dietary fiber for us. Um, but it is made of all these monosaccharides. And then there's this one called chitin. Chitin has just nitrogen atoms added. And it's found in the exoskeletons of like crabs and sow bugs and other crustacean type critters with shells. They have chitin. Oh, and some fungi have chitin in their um, giddy ups. They use chitin. 
which is a string of monosaccharides. And guess what? This is the crazy part. About to blow your mind. Starch, glycogen, cellulose, and chitin are all made from strings of glucose. Nothing more. <laughs> you string together glucose in one way and you get starch. You string together glucose in another way and you get glycogen. String it together in another way and you get cellulose. And string it together in another way and you get chitin. Chitin is the only one that has a little bit of chemical uniqueness with the glucose molecule because it has an extra nitrogen that replaces some other molecule. I don't know if it replaces a carbon or what it replaces in there, but they still consider it's basically glucose with this weird nitrogen modification. And, it, and it's a complex carbohydrate that has a totally different function. Carbohydrates are usually energy providers and um, or structural protection. Lots of critters can eat cellulose. Cellulose is like the most common um, complex carbohydrate on the planet, I think. Um, and just because we can't eat it doesn't mean or digest it. We eat it and dietary fiber is super good for us, um, but our bodies can't digest it on their own. Lots of things can't digest the cellulose on their own. They actually end up um, recruiting bacteria to help with that task. Okay, carbohydrates. We will see them. We will build things with them. We use them in all of our cells as signaling molecules and fuel, and we will see them over and over and over again, but now you have the basics.